it's fine. It's just hanging out over here. I guess it's making a home for itself. I'm gonna <laughs> let it have some alone time while I get some more fuel for it's it. It's searching for fuel. I'm gonna have to get rid of this thing at some point. <laughs> to track the demands of sacrifice. Feed it trees. How's it going people, Jack here with another video, so here to check out yet another episode of the satisfactory series of Let's Game It Out. So I have since then gotten the game myself and uh, I must say it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it a bit more than I do Factorio. It's not to say that uh, this one doesn't have the same fashion of problem solving, but uh, it's definitely a lot more fun. Perhaps it has something to do with just the perspective shift. I got myself to this world which apparently after the updates since this one was a rather old video, there has been the inclusion of different starting zones, but I chose the vanilla, set up a base in basically a hole in the ground, fought against the wildlife and even got to the point that was similar to that of the previous video which was of course making that space elevator which is where I find it very difficult <laughs> to kind of follow the process that Josh was using because I spent hours trying to not just make the assembling process streamlined and efficient but also very aesthetic. So while it is a lot of fun to see the way that he does build his stuff, it also kind of hurts. Somebody in the previous video commented that uh, Josh may have the reverse of OCD. But that said though guys, let us check out this new one with I crippled the game by building to the heavens. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh and we are doing some Satisfactory today. Satisfactory is a game where you make efficient machines or in our case, the dumbest machines imaginable. We started with <laughs> right. normal-ish looking machines that had at least some semblance of order to them. Doing things normal is like the last thing on the list though. So after getting the hang of it, we took an efficient procedure and made it a little extraneous. But at least I... you can kind of <laughs> see what's going on here, right? Oh. It's taking raw copper, it's turning it into copper ingots, and then it's turning it into spools of copper. Easy peasy-ish. But not content with that, we went ahead and took it another step. And we took a rather easy process of making iron rods and iron Yikes. plates and made it um, a little bit complicated. And that's pretty much what we're going to keep doing. Last episode, we also built the space elevator which is this hulking beast right here. Yeah. Space elevator demands a sacrifice to unlock new stuff. Right now it wants 500 modular frames and 150 motors. Those aren't so much hard to come by, so much as it's going to take a while to produce them. Oh, so we're the going to make machines that will do it all for us. Back at home base here, we also have a machine that will unlock different things as soon as we give it the right materials. Basically, we select one of these milestones here. We unlock it via the milestone cost, and then it'll unlock some select things. This one's pretty interesting. It'll unlock a tractor. I think we can either automate oh or i haven't reached that around. far yet we have a machine that we're going to use that we didn't use last time called the assembler, the assembler which around. we feed it to components that it'll make the stuff for us that's going to require handy. us to fix a couple of things though right now we have this cargo unit collecting both iron rods and iron plates we're gonna have to separate this out so it's only feeding iron rods so we can push it through with screws to the assembler but this mm. disaster here starts a long way back <laughs> let's take a quick sprint across this conveyor belt to show what a mess i've made over here how, how, how can he keep <laughs> Well, I suppose that it's just the same two components that are going on these same threads, but... Ugh. You know, I made this bed so I gotta sleep in it, but basically what happened is I have a bunch of machines way the hell over here, making the rods and the plates, and I had them feeding all the way over to home base where we just were, because I kind of wanted everything centrally located over there. So this stuff takes a pretty massive journey, I think it takes like 15 minutes to get from start to finish, because it has to go through all this nonsense. So this is the beginning of the iron plates and the iron rods. It's this ore, we got three piles that get fed into these three machines here, they get shot out as to iron ingots here, they go into these three machines here of which two of them are making plates and one is making iron rods the one thing that i can give him credit for is using that elevation like stacking them on, on top of each other because as he explained last time when you destroy them you can still keep building on top of them so that's actually pretty smart when you want to keep your assembling lines just aligned somewhere higher up. They all get pushed into this little merger unit here. All this stuff goes into this storage container, which then pops out the other end here and has that horrible, horrible journey in the background there. This game is all about efficiency for other people. For us, it's about <laughs> taking this problem and making it worse. Oh, also, we're on an alien planet, ruining its ecology, basically. So pretty much our first task is going to be to separate out the plates and the rods. And I can think of a pretty easy way to do that. We're just not going to feed rods into this thing anymore. For now, the oh. rods are just going to pile up here. This thing is now only spitting out plates. 
Over time, the rods will disappear from this conveyor belt. And hey, you know what? Let's send these rods individually the only way I know how. Let's build an entire second conveyor belt system oh, for them. No. All we gotta do is move <laughs> this like that. The best part about the conveyor belt system in this game is it really lets you just put this stuff wherever you want. I think the idea is that you can make it like diverse and, and normal and stuff, but that's not really what we do. So instead, we abuse what they allow us to do. One of the comments I got was that we should try and see how high this thing can go, and I can think of no better way to do that than to try it on our blessed rods here. So like, oh. I think if we uh, just do a U-turn like that, just making a nice coil of pipe here. The best part about this so far is I know it's going to look terrible. So it turns oh no, out we're a he does the raft the thing. Elevator. And when that happens, we actually can't keep building. And it turns out I can just reposition the space elevator. So if I just grab this little oh. thing, does it just disappear? Yep. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so let's reposition the space elevator a little bit farther away. Look at that. We get to watch it build again. There we go. Just a nice. little bit further away. Let's go ahead and get the assembler set up. We can have it building stuff while we continue to work on that. Okay, we'll just put our assembler down <laughs> right there like that. Just we're gonna random feed it locations. These beautiful rods. So before we send it straight into here, we're gonna do something a little more awkward first. We're gonna use a conveyor splitter. We're gonna send the rods into the conveyor splitter here. Here they yeah. come. One of these sides will indeed split rods right here into the assembler. Meanwhile, we're gonna set up a constructor over here, and we're gonna run one of the other splits right on over to the constructor. And we're gonna set this constructor to make screws. And then we will connect All right. make screws sure. right on so over you can to make the assembler. Those Why screws, you ask? Squares. Here's our assembler, and we're gonna need to make all of the these things. The modular frames. To make yeah. rotors, we need iron rods, which we're already making, and we're gonna need screws. And to make reinforced iron play, we're also gonna need those screws. Because then eventually, we're gonna need to make these modular frames that are also going to need reinforced iron plate. So it's just gonna do us a world of good to have a lot of screws going on. Right yeah. now, I have rods and screws both going into the assembler, and now we're gonna set the assembler to make a to bunch make of rotors. rotors. Here we go. Things are slowly feeding into this machine. The assembler's making them for us. Now we can watch as our beautiful rotors come out. And you know, actually, no sense in stopping there. Let's set up another assembler so it can be working while we mess around with something else. And instead of having the screws feed into just this one machine, we're gonna erase this part. We're gonna and put down make a, a splitter. lovely splitter here. One of the screws goes over there, and the other screw goes into that assembler. I've also adjusted my three constructors over here to only make plate now, which you can see is filtering into this guy here. And we're gonna send that into the other end of this assembler, and we're gonna set this assembler to make reinforced plate. And now we can watch the miracle of life as our beautiful reinforced plate makes its way down the conveyor. Okay, so he finally decides to make something <laughs> that is genuinely working, but I see crisscrosses everywhere. Oh. Okay, brace yourself, because the frame rate gets real bad. I spent a few hours building this out, and uh, I can't tell you how high you can build something, because I never got there, but I can tell you that it can go at least this high. It oh, the frame killer. <laughs> it's also important to note here that... Uh, well, I appreciate one thing about this game that I've never run into resource management, at least lack of resources, because the mining deposits that you find are just endless, at least so far as I've experienced. It takes a long time to get all those things gathered. So uh, this is ours. Literally, as he said. <laughs> kind of eclipses the space elevator at this point. Something tells me you can go a lot higher up, but it's just the frame rate gets so bad that I just can't do much to get there. <laughs> I have to, like, look away from the thing just to not get killed by the frame rate. Let me give you a quick tour of it. It's to my advantage to stare straight out at the beautiful scenery, because if I look straight up, this is what happens. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Hello, slideshow. We got to actually get these rods going somewhere, so I have to at least try to finish this conveyor belt in some way. Just get also, I love that the early access sign still hasn't disappeared. <laughs> Gotta keep on climbing. Ah, and here we are. It's pretty beautiful up here until you turn around and decide you want to see into the heart of the beast. Oh, God, I fell. Oh, God, my frame rate. What's oh. happening to my guy? Yep, there he, he goes. Dead. There he goes. We're actually too high to be able to just build anywhere else but back down the way we came. So that means let's pull out our guy here. How far can I just launch this thing down? Pretty far, as it turns out. I'll just skip ahead because this it's going to be a lot of this. Notice how none of the plates or or any other roads actually reached the top yet. 
This is a crime. Can it be a lot of this one frame per second stuff? Look at that. Towards the bottom, you can see my handiwork. That's what's eventually going to bring the rods back over to us. Millions of years when it finally gets through this whole cyclone. And for maximum irony, I've just run this thing in a straight path to where it's supposed to go. Now, the silver lining is we have all these plates we can use to upgrade stuff instantly. Not only do we have all those reinforced plates, but we also have all of these rotors. My god, this thing can basically blot out the sun now. That side of the map is now totally quarantined. We're gonna have to start building over here somewhere. Let's go ahead and unlock whole power. This sure sounds exciting. Oh, so let's give cool. it some cabling and some copper wire and a bunch of rotors. There we go. Launch it. Well, would you look at this? We have a vehicles tab now. And there's our tractor. Well, let's build a tractor. Oh, look how cute it is. I'm gonna put it right here where I might not be able to get it out. There it's it is. Very compact. <laughs> I didn't realize we'd be able to see my little dude here. Dum de dum de dum. Oh, good. It has a horn. Oh, yeah, here we go. No, this is the life. And I'm stuck already. Maybe I can make oh. it out right here, huh? Uh-huh. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Easy, easy, easy. Uh -huh, all right. We can also <laughs> locate coal now, which is what we're going to do. Tell me where the coal is. Really? No coal anywhere. Wait, oh, there's coal. Oh. 606 meters. Let's go, boy. Oh, you know, I don't have enough fuel for this. Let's back up real quick. Uh-oh, I seem to oh. have left the gas pedal going. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. It's just hanging out over here. I guess it's making a home for itself. I'm gonna let it have some alone time while I get some more fuel for it's it. It's searching I'm for fuel. I'm gonna have to get rid of this thing at some point. I can't actually like play the game with <laughs> this thing here. The tractor demands a sacrifice. Feed it trees. The next thing we're gonna upgrade is to the rebar gun. So let's go ahead and feed it all the things it wants. There we go. And launch. Let's go over here to our workshop and build the gun. Alright, rebar gun, come to me. Oh, look <laughs> at that, huh? Here we go. Put a piece of re- oh, wow. I'm just gonna fire it at my own equipment. Why not? Yep, that's rebar, all right. Can't wait to use my single fire rebar shooting thingy on a creature that didn't deserve it. All right, where's the car? <laughs> Hello, car, are you out here? Oh, there you are. Did you tire yourself out or what? Oh, geez, sorry. All right, we're nice and refueled. Let's get out of here. There we go, there's the coal, heading straight towards it. Oh, it's just right over here? Why did I take the car for this? Whatever, out of the way, nature. I don't care if there's a drop off, this is the way to the coal. You tell me where the coal is, I'm <laughs> oh, no. good. You think the vehicle's gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm sure the vehicle will be okay. In heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> my stuff. I like how it shows me where my body is. In like, heaven. I don't think there's any coming back from that, but I guess let's go check. Oh, how considerate. All my stuff is just right here. Hey, do you guys want to bring back the car too? Car would be nice. Well, while I'm out here, sans car now, I might as well see if I can find that coal anyway. Easy guys. Easy fellas. Damn it. That's where the coal is over there? Well, no wonder the car couldn't get over here. Is there <laughs> any way over here? You know, I'm starting to think there's no way over there. Sometimes I'm looking around and I'm like, uh-oh, am I lost? Do I have like a guiding star or something oh yeah i sure do on the plus side the grand cyclone has finally started to deliver rods okay so i restarted the game that seems to have helped the frame rate a little bit i mean unless i just look right a bit at it, but let's just try not to do that before we go and build another jeep and try to find that coal let's start knocking out some milestones we'll do this one just for the hell of it it gives us conveyor belt mark 2 which is great and all transports up to 120 resources per yep. minute which is double the mark 1 which is what we're using right now oh, the but like, ones that i used over to tier 4 here we we already have Logistics Mark 3, which will give us Conveyor Belt Mark 3, oh. which transports up to 270 resources. Of course, we're just going to go straight to that, even though it needs like a bajillion motors, and I don't even know how to build Yeet. those yet. But we'll learn. The motors, though, we do unlock. We just have to do steel production. We'll just go ahead and give Logistics Mark 2 all the things it needs and launch. While we wait for the pod to return so we can do another upgrade, let's find the best place to put car number two down. Again, we're still looking for coal. Quick scan. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's over here 600 meters that means we'll put the tractor right there look at that beauty oh uh, don't face me that way uh, <laughs> turn it around oh uh, there we go i've got a good feeling about this Whee! what's this thing out of the way yep oh. we <laughs> let's see come on Come on. We'll just take the long Oh, yeah, those things pew forest. fire, don't they? How do I get up to the coal? Are, these, Are you whatever. guys going to force me to come back with conveyor belts? Because I'll do it. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Bioenergy they have. Ah, ah, 
Huh. They don't seem to want me to get up there the natural way. That's fine. Let's head back to home base, pick up some supplies. Let's unlock another milestone. This time we're gonna do steel production, which is gonna unlock all kinds of good stuff, actually. Ooh. And launch. Look at this new stuff I have here. Minor Mark II. Look at these crazy materials it needs. Encased industrial beam, steel pipe. And then we've got this thing under smelters called the foundry. Smelts two resources into alloy ingots. So we're gonna go climb up to that coal the old-fashioned way. And then we'll see about extraction. Whoa, what the hell? What is this? Oh well, yeah, like stumble on one of those site. too. You can get can uh, the hard drive. Force plate, I'll take that. What are these? Are these beams? Can I have this? Ooh, some motors. I like it. What about some body parts? You got any body parts around here? <laughs> Press E to open drop pod. Let's see, this is where we find the bodies, right? Battery broken. Ah, jeez. We need to charge this thing just to open it? That's fine. Yep. I just happen to have all the materials to put a biomass burner down right here. Ta-da! Okay, let's just give this thing a little power. There we go. And now now let's... What's the problem? Oh, Jesus, are you serious? So we need something more powerful than that. Uh, well, what if I hook up two of these things? Put a second burner right there. Put a power line right here. Connect this to that, and this to that. 20 and 20, so 40 should do the trick. And now let's connect this power line to that. All right, nothing blew up. Let's see if that worked. There we go, operational again. Let's do this. <laughs> Hello, what have we... Uh, a hard drive? Well, yep. don't mind if I do. Well, we did it, boys. Close up all the resources. We're going home. I love this you can do this. I love that you can just suck up the whole factory, put it back in your pocket. All right, well, that was great. Let's go get... Well, that is the motto of the company that you work for, right? That they don't waste anything. That coal now. We'll analyze that hard drive when we get back. So we need to get up there. And if making that tornado has taught me anything, conveyor belts can get that done. There's no way, right, that I can just take a conveyor belt and just aim it straight up here. Conveyor belts is too long. Okay, we'll see about that. There we go. Totally sound. Driven by <laughs> physics. Let's finally take a look at this coal up here. Oh, it's like untamed country up here. Here we go. Look, it's beautiful coal, which obviously we're just going to send down a conveyor belt and that's just gonna go right here there we go and to power that we're gonna put a ooh look a coal generator burns coal to generate electricity for your power grid has an input so feeding coal can be automated i have a great idea we're gonna build a coal generator right, right on top it. so between these two things i'm gonna put a conveyor splitter right about there i'm gonna run a conveyor belt from the front of this thing into the splitter and i'm gonna have the other end of this feed right back into the machine put a little power line right there connect this guy to here here. There it goes. Now here comes coal going this way. Unlimited power. Splitter, heads right back in and powers itself. Oh yeah. That is fantastic. <laughs> Alright, we still got some stuff left to do, but I hope you enjoyed what I did this time around. That's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. I will see you next time. That was nice. I like how Josh asked like every Floridian during hurricane season when they're lost, like, I can't find my way back home. Do I have like a North Star to, to, to find my way back home? How about you look at that spinning whirlwind of metal in the distance? <laughs> that was amazing. But how about we check out this next one here on how he crippled the game even more with a nightmare factory. I am Josh. This is Satisfactory, where normal people make awesome streamlined factories. But <laughs> that's not what I'm going to be doing. Let me catch you up on what I've done already. I did this mess of a conveyor belt system. I also did this even bigger mess of a conveyor belt system. And then I made this tornado out of conveyor belts. We can't uh. look right at it or our frame rate just dies. We have a lot of tiers we can unlock to unlock new kinds of equipment and gear. Last time, we also found a wreckage site, which was kind of cool. So we have these hard drives that we can analyze, which we'll do at some point, if I remember. And last we left off, we unlocked unlocked being able to use coal power, which is pretty cool because we can <laughs> drill it and then we can automate sending the coal straight to a power plant, which then powers the drill, which then keeps it going. So it's this perpetual powering machine and we're kind of yep. far away from home base. So we need to figure out how to get all this coal back. I sense we're going to use conveyor belts to do it. So let's see what we can do. I've got some ideas here. All right, we're going to find a way to get this conveyor belt all the way down there. I'm just going to keep clicking until I find a spot that works. There we go. There we go. While we work on getting the coal sorted <laughs> out, let's also make sure to keep up this guy. Now we're going to upgrade to improved melee combat. That does allow us to buy this now. Let's go ahead and oh. upgrade this. See what our new melee weapon looks like. Well, that's like. great oh, to deal with some of those hogs. Jeez. <laughs> Can't wait to beat up some wildlife with this thing. All right. So I've gone ahead and connected a conveyor belt here that goes ahead and sends this all the way home. Let me give you the quick tour. It really couldn't be more simple. You know, you just follow this down. We had to give it a nice gradual slope. Wouldn't be us if there weren't at least a couple of turns. Eventually, the coal takes you down this lovely pathway to what I like to call the conveyor weave <laughs> a beautiful interwoven masterpiece <laughs> I 
Oh my god. The CEO of Hot Wheels wants to know your location. Let's do a quick tour so we can see all of the features of Jesus the Wii. Jesus Christ. First, Nicole's gonna go through each and every one of these. And once it completes its journey, God knows how long that's gonna take. It's only on the second little row. It's gotta go through all of this. Yeah, that's that's where I established my base. This dude went ahead and did like a pie topping. Like now we're cooking with coal. What in the world? Eventually the coal reaches its landing point, which is right <laughs> here. And then all we need to do is follow this beautiful little conveyor belt. And then a nice standard bob and weave pattern all the way home. And I do mean all the way home. We're going to replace all of our biomass burners, which at this point I think we have like six or seven of them. We're going to replace those with coal generators. So we need to create the splitting system so each one gets enough coal, but also so we can separate coal and use it for other crafting. First things first is one conveyor splitter. Put that right about there. And and we're actually going to have a second one too, which we'll put a little further down here. And we'll connect this one first. We're going to put another splitter right over here. Face it out like that. Connect a conveyor belt from here to here. And then we're going to set up three coal generators right here. One and two and three. There we go. Set this conveyor belt to go all the way over to this guy. Because once again, we're just not normal. Great. So each no. one of these guys in theory is going to be able to get a little <laughs> bit of power. That's the hope anyway. The last thing I'll do that we bit. can unlock is logistics mark three which is going to require every us to hour motors, which is somewhat more complex if we want to automate it we, we need to take our rotors which are already being made and we also need to connect them to stators to make stators we need to make steel pipes and to make steel pipes we just need steel ingots steel ingots are made with iron ore and coal so pretty much we oh. need to have a machine that's going to combine iron ore and coal we're going to need a machine that takes those steel ingots and turns them into steel pipe and then that steel pipe is going to have to be fed into a machine that's also making wire to then make the stators and then we're going to have to to send the stators to the same place that's making our rotors and those together will make the motors so let's get started this shouldn't be that hard we also have to give the space elevator some stuff including some motors as well as some modular frames modular frames we don't yeah. quite have 500 of but it shouldn't be too hard to make after all to make modular frames all we have to do is combine reinforced iron plate and iron rods which we can also automate you had so you a mechanized process for that those hard drives here have a hard drive start analyzing that tell me something amazing the analysis of the hard drive is completed. No new research is available. Try again later after further progress. Your NA has been returned to you. But then it offers me this stuff. It offers me like an alternate blueprint. How about this one? This looks good. Because we're going to need iron ore, Cement. which is currently coming out here, we're just going to use this little splitter right here and pull some of the iron ore out to use over on our other machine. Because this miner only pulls out this ore so fast, and then it's split three different ways, which means none of them are really getting enough ore, we're going to upgrade this guy to a miner mark two. First, we beam this guy out of existence. Now we put the new miner Mark II right where it was. Now we reclaim the bigger boy. Like that. That's much better. Like it's not perfect, but at least everything's getting a little bit more. Oh my God, the coal finally showed up. Look at this. Oh my God. So I timed it for the coal to get all the way from the beginning to the oh, end. Oh, it, it barely takes runs. Three hours. We better not make some changes on the starting side. Remember how I said the conveyor belt cyclone you can't look at without the frame rate dying? Well, we're running out of places to go where that's not the case. Oh, there is a beautiful sight. Not only do we have the conveyor belt, but we have the vortex in the background. I'm surprised my computer isn't literally on fire right now. Look at my guy's hands. It's just two frames of animation going back and forth going, ah, <laughs> this seems like a good idea, right? You know how when shopping for hardware, you will like get those recommendation or like suggestion of what you want to build? I suppose that when it comes to Josh, he's constantly questioned whether or not he wants to build a PC to fight God. Really, the vehicle's not going to have a problem. Can we ride on this? Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to use this as our one frame per second tour vehicle. Well, to nobody's surprise, we're stuck. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. Everything's getting plenty of power. And now right here where the iron ore and the coal is coming out, we're going to put a foundry. Ta-da! And we'll connect that there. Connect that there. Great. And we'll configure the machine, of course, to make steel ingots. Yep, there they are. And now we're going to put a constructor right here and run the foundry to the constructor and set this guy to make steel pipe. And for now, nice. we're going to have our steel pipe just go into one of these storage containers. In order to make the stators, we need to combine those pipes with wire which is why we're back over here where we're going to run a conveyor belt all the way over to where it was. This game really wants you to do stuff vertically, which I <laughs> totally get, but I like the idea of just making something as messy as possible. If it works, it works, right? So now we have our copper right. wire on its way. Now we're going to throw down an assembler. Looks beautiful as always. Crissy crossy the conveyor belts like that. Not a prerequisite, at least not for most. For me it is. Watch as the pipes and the wires crisscross all excitedly. And we're going to tell this <laughs> machine to make stators. And there they are. Would you look at that? 
that? And the last glorious step for making motors is we need to connect this with the machine that's making our rotors. So this container here has our rotors. We'll just run it over here. Oh yeah, rotors, come on down. So now we've got the rotors and the stators right next to each other. We gotta put the one thing into the hole for the other thing, which is gonna involve yet another assembler right there. Little Chrissy Crossy later. Everything's going into the places where they're supposed to go. And we'll Yikes. set this machine to make motors. And there we go. We've got motors coming out. We made a motor, baby. And they'll just yeah. collect in there until we have 500 million zillion of them. And the whole thing is automated. We don't have to do a thing. This will pretty much just go forever. There is another machine we need to make that will automatically make these modular frames, which is reinforced iron plate and iron rods. We're going to do something similar like we just did. We're going to go over where we have our iron rods <laughs> coming out. We're going to so messy. We're gonna have it aim next to the thing that's making the enforced plating. So way over here, we have our reinforced iron plate. And this is the wildly convoluted place where we have a bunch of rods coming in and out of nowhere. So we're just going to split off from here and as always put an assembler back here. There we go. So we've got reinforced plating coming out there. We've got rods coming out there. We've got this beautiful cyclone in the background as always. And yes, <laughs> I know I could have had this all go in a straight line, but where's the fun in that? Now we're going <laughs> to tell this thing to make modular frames. We're going to put another storage container up here that we're going to feed everything back into. Can't have it getting too far away from me. I don't want to run a marathon just to find all my supplies. We now have enough stuff to unlock logistics mark three. So let's definitely do that. One, two, three, launch. Bam. Pretty exciting. We have bigger storage containers, but most exciting is we have conveyor belt mark three. Conveyor belt mark one transports 60 resources per minute, but mark three does a blazing 270. Oh, you know what? These coal yeah. plants are so awesome and I have so much extra coal. I'm going to go ahead and build three more plants right behind it. Let's put it right about there and there and there. And I'm going to remove this guy here and I'm going to have one splitter here and then those splitters are going to split to there. This one will go like that and this will connect to that. So I've added a splitter here and one side goes over here, splits three ways, <laughs> goes the to spinning. these front guys and this one will head into the back here where there's going to be another splitter and split three mm. ways going into the three machines back here. Now that we have all the coal power plants oh to take God. care of themselves, we can get rid of these biomass burners because they require us to keep refilling them and we don't need to deal with that anymore. So I feel like one of my choke points is how quickly the screws can come out of this machine. I kind of want to see what happens if we replace this conveyor belt with the Mark III. So let's get rid of the Mark I. Let's connect the Mark III. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's not screwing around. All right, you get with the times. You're slowing everything down here. I mean, how much... <laughs> I can't even run up these conveyor belts now. They just pull you down. That's fantastic. While we wait, let's not forget to make everything the proper color. All we're really waiting on right now is right. to gather as much <laughs> About stuff as time. we need to shove it into the space elevator. But that's no excuse to not have everything be color coordinated. What about you? Can I color you? No? You'll be back. Oh boy, the time has finally come. Took a little while, but we got our 500 modular frames and our 150 motors. So let's just pile all this crap in here and see what happens. All right, we got all of our supplies in. Now let's go from load to <clears throat> seal. There it goes. Okay, is it secure now? Can I send it? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Such a great Have animation. Space. Let me know if you can see the vortex from there. All right, well, that felt good. What now? Unavailable and early access damage. Aww. So launching that stuff into orbit has unlocked new tiers, which gives us some pretty exciting new stuff. My Oil God. processing. Wow, it's real. And an even bigger truck. <laughs> <beast> <laughs> oh. My heart. oh my God. And a mark oh, I'm looking forward to this. Well. And oh my God, a jetpack. Well, that's been a lot oh. of fun. I've got some ideas for how we can top the weave. So thanks for watching. Head on back for more satisfactory soon. And I will see you next time. It's a rather easy to get a jetpack. I was just roaming around in a forest and stumbling one of those hogs with a jetpack on. Killed it and got myself a jetpack. It's pretty straightforward. But thank you guys so much for checking out this reaction of what would happen if Amazon and Witch had a baby together. But <laughs> this is so chaotic. I cannot understand that feel of assembling lines. That was so... But that's going to be it for me, guys. If you liked the video, give the video a like. Please do go and subscribe to Let's Game It Out and see you guys in the next one. Bye.